Today we're visiting a few sites around Alice Springs. Our first stop is the Waninja rock carvings. It's a sacred Aboriginal men's site, so they ask that Aboriginal women and children don't come. However, all other visitors are welcome, so we're very glad that we're able to come and have a look today. Um, they ask that you don't video the actual carvings. So if you want to see the carvings, you are going to have to make your way out to Alice Springs and come and have a look for yourself. All right, we're gonna go check it out. Our next stop is Emily's Gap to see some Aboriginal rock art paintings. Unfortunately, there has been some rainfall and this lovely little water hole behind me has cut the walking track to the rock art. So we're gonna to have to call Emily's off. So we're gonna continue on to Jessie's Gap and hope that we have some better luck down there. We're now down at Jessie's Gap. And there is a little bit of water here, but thankfully only a little bit. And it looks like we're not going to have any issue with access because it's only a tiny bit of water, but people have also built up a little bit of a dirt track. Now, there's no photos or video to be taken of the artwork here. Haley's found a poor little dead finch, but we're gonna give him a nice little burial and then continue on. I wonder what happened to the poor little guy. Oh, sorry, Haley. Cover him up so no bird, no big birds or cats come and eat him. Poor little guy. Mm. Mm. Uh, at Jessie's Gap, it's just a lovely little stroll around the creek bed down the bottom. It's nice and shaded today, which is lovely because the sun's got a little bit of bite to it, which is nice after some freezing nights here in Alice. But we're coming up to another artwork site, so once again, if you want to have a look, you're going to have to come to Alice. Alright girls, can I interrupt your mud work for a moment? Yeah. What did you think of the rock paintings? Um, very interesting. They're like lines. And we don't know what they were, but I think they sort of look like caterpillars. As well as, as, well as all the great memories, the other thing that we all left Mataranka with was a cold. So it's been a little challenging the last few days trying to keep pushing on while none of us have really been feeling all that all that great. Uh, so we had a, a couple of quiet days in Alice Springs and since then we have headed out into the West McDonald Ranges and our first stop is here at the Ormiston Gorge. We're at the lookout at the moment. You can see the escarpment for the gorge behind me which is just truly incredible i think this is probably one of the tallest highest um, gorges that we've come across so far in our in our travels you can look down to the waterfall um, not the waterfall you can look down to the water hole below uh, the girls have already scarped off and are heading down there now to have a look um, we'll show you our awesome camp setup in a few minutes when we get back there but uh, yeah just just take all this in All right, so this is our awesome camp set up here at Ormiston Gorge. Bit of a minimal setup for us um, here um, with clear blue skies. No real need for awning, plenty of shade around. Everyone's getting ready for our day. Everyone's getting their shoes on. I'm all ready. Haley's all ready, which is just amazing. I don't know how that happened. And uh, <clears throat> I've got a lovely northerly outlook here, looking out over the walls of the gorge. Today we're exploring the West Macdonald Ranges. We're here at Ellery Creek Big Hole. It's a bit chilly this morning because the sun has not came over the hill yet. So I'm going to head back to the sun. We're part way up the walk to the lookout for Serpentine Gorge. Have a look at the rock seams behind me and the view. 
out over the McDonald Ranges. I can't wait to see the view from the top. It's supposed to be one of the best views in Central Australia. Have we made it yet? Almost. Well, not much further along and we've come to the top of the lookout that gives you an absolutely stunning view down through Serpentine Gorge. Let's go and have a little, uh, a little peep over the edge here. I'm not sure whether the video or the photos of, of any of this are going to really do this any justice but this is this would be one of the best views that we've seen on our trip so far this is definitely the kind of thing that we came out here to see um, this is just truly spectacular Another spot out here in the West McDonald Ranges is the Ochre Pits. There's a rainbow of colours and they are used for so many different purposes. We just did some schoolwork. And yesterday we did the ghost gum walk and now today we're going to do the full loop walk. There and then come back down that track. We are going to do the walk up here to the lookout and then along the gorge and then down and on along... The sand, on the sandy track. On, <laughs> along the, the sandy creek bed. Yep. Alright, let's, yeah. let's go. We've just come past the lookout, it's the point we got to yesterday. Uh, now, just moving on, we get to... Uh, Go on the where are we? track. We get to follow the trail here behind us, all the way along the edge of the gorge here. Yeah. And then it will make its way down into yeah. the into the riverbed. Yeah. And we'll follow that back around. And in there, um, there is a lot of sand back down, and heaps of dead fish. Back down to the waterhole. With heaps of dead fish. Okay. <laughs> Ready to keep on going? Uh, I think so. Okay, let's go. The lookout is over there and that overlooks the water hole. And in the trees in the distance, that is where Robbie is, our camper. Well, Hayley and I have had a little bit of a fail this afternoon on our adventure. The trail doesn't exactly do what we thought it was going to do. Well, it does. It does go down to the, to the riverbed. But to be able to walk back along the riverbed, you do have to swim through a waterhole. Freezing cold. And it is freezing cold and it's late in the afternoon and we're still all getting over colds. So while we probably could walk around that waterhole, there is a few other ones that I'm not completely 100% that we would not be able to get around. And I don't want to have to backtrack all the way from down there. So we've decided to play it safe and we're walking back on the same trail that we came out on, which walking through here is still such a lovely place to walk. Can't believe the scenery around us at the moment. Uh, Haley is a bit disappointed with um, with the outcome. Yeah, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. So we're just going to have to uh, turn around and head back home. But we still had fun, didn't we? Yeah. 
And we don't, and we wouldn't have known this if we hadn't have come out here to do it. Nope, and I wouldn't do this at five o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, we were going to come out and do this for sunrise tomorrow morning, which I'm glad we didn't do that because we would have found that out uh, while we were in the dark. So much better that we did it this afternoon. Anyway, you win some, you lose some. It's um. On the plus side, by the time we get back to camp, tea should be ready. So, you know, there's a win. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what we're having actually. I don't know. <laughs> Day three out in the West McDonald Ranges. Another glorious day. Clear blue skies. Although today there is somewhat of an Arctic, Arctic wind blowing across which is absolutely freezing so that's um that's bringing the temperature down a little bit today we're out at red bank gorge doing the walk through the gorge and you get to walk along the sandy riverbed and we'll get to do some rock hopping as there is a series of little water holes along the way so it should not be a the lot of. One like yesterday. Not that big. Uh, no, this one might be a tiny little bit bigger. It's only two kilometres, so not nothing that we haven't already done before. So we're getting stuck into this walk to try and warm ourselves up and stay out of the wind. This is what you'll find at the end of Redwood Red Bank Gorge Walk. We had a fun scramble over all the rocks. Hopefully you can hear this with all the wind, but uh, our last stop for today and our last stop here in the McDonald Ranges at this section here is at Glen Helen. We've called in here to grab our pass for the Marini Loop, which will get us through to Kings Canyon, which is our next stop. And we've just wandered down to have a look at the gorge here while we're here. Good morning, Hayley. Good morning. Can you tell us what's happening today? We're doing the Big Kings Canyon Walk. That's right. Today we are at Kings Canyon and we're heading out to do the, uh, is it the Rim Walk? Yes, the yep. Rim Walk. And it's 
bloody cold. And it's absolutely freezing out here this morning. The sun's come through, which is helping a little, but not a lot. So we're pretty keen to get started and, uh, <clears throat> and have a look at this walk. I'm really excited about this walk today. I think this should be spectacular. I can't, can't wait to get up the top and, and have a look. Are we all right to get started? Yeah. All right, let's go. like my cool shirt and it's about three to four hours looks like this is gonna be a fun walk And now the path gets a lot flatter and much easier to walk on. What are you doing out there? Like two little meerkats. Give me your best meerkat pose. From here, we you can see how far we've climbed, and down there's the car park where we started. And while you're looking that way, you can check out that view. little elevated section here you get a great perspective of the dome structures that exist up on top of the canyon. I'm right up in the elbow of the canyon at the moment uh, with the massive rock face just straight across here and down here is uh, what's known as the Garden of Eden which will be another little walk that we'll uh, do up through the centre of the canyon and have a look down there there's a, uh, a quite a large water hole down there uh, which I imagine the water is absolutely freezing but uh, we'll go down there and uh, check that out. Hey look, people are Garden of Eden. It's a little oasis. We've seen some spectacular rocks on the trip. But King's Canyon is something special. We're on our way back down from the rim walk. It's taken us about three and a half hours to do the six kilometers. And that's just because you're stopping so much, so much to see and there's lots of stairs 
and it's very uneven so it's not been an easy walk but um, I mean when you see the view from the top the sheer cliff faces of the canyon looking down and going down into the Garden of Eden um, and all the uh, dome shapes uh, all the dome rock shapes across the top of the canyon it's uh, you're just stopping so much to, to look around um, just been such a such a great day even though it's been tiring I think the kids have enjoyed it have you enjoyed it Emma yeah yep there you go thumbs up from Emma and Emma tells me that it's about 12 30 now so we'll be heading heading back to camp and and by my way of thinking that means it's beer o'clock Oh, it's gone now. He got it in. The cheeky little mouse. It's in. It's in. <laughs> that cheeky little mouse took that. Look at this. It's all around. I've been talking about this one thing for ages. Since the start of the trip, in fact. And today we're at Uluru and we're going to do the bike riding one around the rock. Just get us ready with all our with the bikes. They look great and after nine months or something, first time riding the bike and hopefully I'll remember how to ride. <laughs> Let's go. Well, we've just completed our bike ride around Uluru and it was a great way for us to do it. It meant that we could go all the way around and it was a little bit easier for the kids being able to ride around. What do we think of the ride around 
Emma, you must have been pretty happy to finally get to ride a bike after all this time. Yeah, I was really... It was really great to ride around it instead of walking. How about you, Hayley? What did you think? Biggest rock I've ever seen. Biggest rock you've ever seen. And how did you go, Mum, riding around on the bike? I'm glad we rode instead of walking, but I think my bike's going to be a bit sore for a couple of days. It's been a long time since I've been on a bike. Okay. All right, well, let's go drop our bikes off and go and have some lunch. Congratulations! 15 kilometers. Well done, girls. <laughs> which is called the Valley of the Winds as you might be able to tell from the audio is a very accurate name it's a bit cold this morning around 10 degrees it feels like temp of about 4 Today we're wrapping up the Red Centre. It's Hayley's birthday. Explored Katajuta, Uluru, Kings Canyon and Ormiston Gorge. Today we're off to Alice Springs and off to our next state, Queensland. Yesterday we did the... What happened at school like this? <laughs> today we're exploring around Alice Springs. Our first site today is the Weninja rock carvings. It is an Aboriginal sacred men's site. So Aboriginal women and children are asked not to come. One of the good days that... Ah. So we're getting stuck into this walk to try and warm ourselves up and stay out of the wind. And Hayley says that it's still cold. Oh, and Hayley's new nickname is Frank. No, so if not. we talk about Frank, that <laughs> is just Hayley. No. We've seen some spectacular rocks on the trip, but not as cool as... No. Our next stop is Emily's Gap. Unfortunately... Oh, didn't see that step. Thanks. And outtake was 
this is really, really funny. If mum falls down these stairs, we'll have a good outtake. Take 237. Today around Alice Springs we're visiting a few cultural sites. Our first stop is the Weninja Rock Carvings. It's a sacred Aboriginal men's site so they ask that Aboriginal men and women don't come. So today's men a good thing women. that... Okay try again!